Good morning, guys. How are we doing? Alright, some time. Blah, 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 blah. There we go. Okay, we'll be game up. I can do that. Let's load the most important part up. Oh crap, I have 1100 followers? What? Did get released? Or episode 6? No, it didn't come out yet. Okay, so that's what I thought. It hasn't come out yet. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think it, I didn't think it came out yet. I'm gonna go very fast. That was quick, eh? Holy crap. Okay, cool, let's toast. Maybe I need to move this a little bit over. Move that. And I'll move this. There you go. Yeah, that fits. Okay. Alright, cool. Previously on Game of Thrones. No, the game just started. My father is planning to make a move against your family. He knows all your weaknesses, all your plans, because you have a traitor in your council. He's been sending a great deal of gold to someone in King's Landing. We were told we'd be speaking to Lord Tyrion alone. That's enough, Andros. North Grove. That's just some shit story for little kids. I've heard stories. Old tales of a secret forest within a forest. Your lord knew what he was talking about. I'm part of the free folk. People round here call wildlings. My true name is Sarah. Flowers. You're a boss. Oh, okay. It means a lot to be able to share that with someone. Gotcha. How do you like CSGO? Someone I can trust. And if it isn't Elena Glenmore, you're not still married <coughs> into this wretched family. I will tell my father how betrothal stands. It's a long journey to Marine on foot. Marine? Shit. What? Unfinished business there. I don't want to talk about it. If you presume to speak of my dragon... You best choose your words carefully. Ah! Mister! Hey! 
Are you going to be a good little forester? Learn your lesson and stay down. Don't think this is over, Roderick. The foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Take the boy as your warden. Kill him if they give you any trouble. I never did tell you about your father, did I? We bled him at first, like a pig. <laughs> I thought I chose the arm. I thought I chose the arm, not nah. not the chest. I don't know. You were a killer the day you arrived. Seems Brit found out too. Now they all see it. It wasn't my fault. He attacked me and and we fought. And... So you struck him down and left him to die. You told me what you did to get here. We both know you had blood on your hands. But now you've killed one of your brothers. You'll lose your head for this, Tuttle. You'll be disgraced, dishonored, and burned till there's nothing left of you. You won't execute me. With Mance Raider coming, the Night's Watch needs all the men it can get. Honest men. Loyal men. Not brother killers. There's only one thing to be done with you now. Hey, Frostfinger. I saw what Garrett did to Brit last night. I was there. My relief was late, so I stayed behind. Yeah, he was there. Then go on. What did you see, boy? Garrett's telling the truth. Brit attacked him. Just like he said, Garrett had no choice but to fight back. There isn't a man at the wall who wouldn't sell his own mother for the right price. You two are up to something. Some deal you worked out. Or oh, he's defending you for... for some reason I can't fathom. No, we're not. He's telling the truth. You can't fault a man for defending himself. Garrett killed a man of the watch. There's a price to be paid for that. Let's go. I knew it was a mistake to make you a ranger. Rossfinger. What's to be done with him? We're heading to Crusted. You'll have to find someone else for your expedition. Your man here still has a lot to answer for. Now out of the way, Snow. Give us a moment. Then kiss him quick and be done with it. Garrod. You told me you wouldn't get into it with Brit. What happened? I thought you were smarter than that, Garrod. I thought you were going to be by my side at Craster's. John, I swear I honored my vows. Brit wanted a fight and I, I wouldn't give him one. I tried to stop it, honest. I believe you. Is there nothing to be done? Aside from removing Tuttle's head from his shoulders? No. Oh, yeah. You're about to go off and execute a nest full of traitors at Craster's. How is this any different? Gods be with you, Garrett. We're down a man, so keep your eyes open. And let's move. You can go begging to your gods all you want, boy. It's the axe has the final say. Oh, God. Dun, 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 dun.
All right, Eddie, that's understanding. No problem. Do you know how many men have stood before me with false tales of my dragons? Desperate men, hoping for wealth, protection. Liars, every one of them. And I expect you are no different. You don't want to see what I do to liars. Then maybe you should get to know me better. I'm not like those other men. You sure look like the rest of them. Covered in dirt. <laughs> I thought you'd seen a dragon before. Your reaction says otherwise. Viseron, it's all right. He's, uh, he's much smaller than the other one. <laughs> Would you like to touch him? Go ahead. Unless you are afraid. Of course, a man who has really faced a dragon before may have reason to be afraid. Go on. <laughs> You're brave, at least. <laughs> I don't think he likes me. You still have a hand, don't you? You claim you saw Drogon. Give me a reason to believe you. I told you I've heard this story before. I'm going to need more than that. I have this. Drogon. How did you get that? What have you done to him? If you've hurt him... Hurt him? He, he attacked us. Drogon wouldn't strike without reason. You must have scared him. He is not some kind of thoughtless beast. He's only a child. Oh, a child who can breathe fire on whoever he likes. The men who were following us, the Lost Legion, they drew their swords and tried to fight him. And Drogon defended himself. So we somehow deserve to be burnt alive because your little baby was scared. <laughs> Your tongue is dangerously sharp, sellsword. It is. Shh. Why did you come here? You offer me nothing but lies. To what end? You want gold? A title? My undying gratitude? What do you want from me, Asher Forrester? I don't want your money. I just need your help. Help very often means money. My family is depending on me. I have to find an army. An army? If you could spare some of your cell swords, please. If I also came here looking for an army. But what I found were the cries of children and people suffering in chains while their masters profited from their misery. My cell swords will help me free the slaves of Marine. That is their mission. Your need is not greater than theirs. These are people who have suffered for years without end. I would only need a few men. Those who follow Croft could come with me. The rest are yours. They are all mine. There must be something I can do to convince you. As we speak, my men prepare to enter the room. 
What they are about to do is much bigger than you or I. Bigger than one family back in Westeros. So, unless you think you can storm Marine and free all the slaves yourself, you have nothing more to offer me. Croft? You may leave. <laughs> That's but it. Your Grace. See them out. We're not just cell swords. We're the best damn cell swords in Slaver's Bay. <laughs> I know a few who might disagree with you. His boasting aside, they were two of my best fighters. And Beska here, she has a history in Marie. She could help guide us. What the hell? Is this true? <sighs> yes. I lived in Marine for a time. On the eastern side of the city. Fucking bastard. So you wish to accompany them? You'd help the Second Sons? Guide them into Marine? I can't, Asher. This could be our only chance. Is that what you're saying? You're really considering this? They could prove valuable. Asher, please. I can only speak for myself. I'll go alone. She's the one who knows the city. She will accompany you. Or you won't be going at all. I believe that's more than fair. You two will join Croft and his men. Get them into the city, help them liberate Marine, and I will see that you are rewarded. But your uncle stays here. If I find you've lied or put my men in danger... I understand. Good. Croft will get you settled in. It's going to be a long night. Going into Marine. Look, I'm sorry it happened this way. As long as you get your army, right? Best case. Get your armor patched up in here. Extra bed rolls if you need them. Piss buckets in the corner where it's always fucking been. She's mad at me, and I'm like, I tried. Long time since we had a piss bucket. I spent two years trying to get where I am now. Don't fuck this up for me, Asher. Oh, Nail! We got two more! Roger seeing his form back. Nice, he can move. Well, it's about too soon. It's not your leg that's a problem, Roderick. You've got to be practical. You got the best of Griff last time. When he comes looking for revenge, do you think you can beat him? He'll be angry, looking for revenge. It sounds like you'd prefer if Roderick stayed down in the mud. Next time I face Griff, it will be the last. I won't let him parade around my halls any longer. I look forward to it, my lord. But you won't win a fair fight. You can't handle a sword like you used to. So find another advantage. Surprise your opponent. Do something unexpected. Like what? I'll show you. Come at me. Bring your opponent down to your level. When I attack you, drop down, avoid my blade, and swing at the back of my knees. Wait for me to attack. Roderick! Let's try it again. Almost. Again. Oh, yeah. 
My hands weren't set. Ha! Now that's how you do it. <laughs> I think you let me. Oh. <sighs> My lord. Sorry to interrupt. Lena. She insisted on seeing you immediately. Lady Elena, I hear we're to become sisters. Talia. Uh-oh. Roderick. Can I speak with you? Privately. Uh-oh. You remember my little brother? Quiver! Good gods, you've grown. You could just call me Arthur now. I hope you don't mind us coming unannounced. But something's happened. I didn't know what else to do. I've missed you, Elena. <laughs> I've missed you too. Aww. Truth be told, you're the only one I can turn to. Lord Whitehill paid my father a visit at Rillwater Crossing. He told my father you were disobeying Griff's authority and... And he wanted to teach you a lesson. As if I'm some token to be handed around. You mean... He demanded I end Albatrothal and marry his son, Griff, instead. What? Lud threatened my family. Told my father if he refused, we'd be slaughtered along with you. Father acted the damn coward. He agreed, Roderick. I am to marry Griff Whitehill. That arrogant, pig-eyed prick! Lena, we're in this together. I won't let this happen. I knew you'd help. But my father won't listen. That booty, though. Be the bone they throw that howling dog. I'm not gonna be some prize for him to rip open. We have to get rid of him. I can't think of any other way. My father won't see reason. Lord Whitehill's made up his mind. It's time someone broke. We were hoping you'd say that. Oh, wow. You brought your men. I command Father's elite guard. These men are trained archers, swordsmen, experts in both ranged and close combat. They're yours. If you'll help us take down Griff. The whole guard? Twenty men. My father still thinks they're aboard a ship bound for the Reach. What do you have to lose, Roderick? Griff has been a nightmare for you and your house. You can't have any reason to keep him around. Dwight will still have my little brother. If I hurt Griff, there's no telling what they'll do to Ryan. I understand your worry, Roderick. I don't want Ryan hurt any more than you do. I know this might sound mad, but it's the only way. Get rid of Griff. And you'll be free to use the guard however you like. You can finally take control of your house again. Please, promise me you'll do this. That's actually Jesus. I love you, Roderick. I don't want Griff. I don't want any of this. I would be happy to. Thank you, Roderick. Griff won't even see it coming. My men are yours to command. Thank you, Quip. Arthur. Could you give us a moment? You don't know how much this means to me. To us, I should say. Maybe when this is all over, we could play hide and seek in the grove again. Pretend we're still children. Forget all that's happened these last few years. I love you, Helena. I love you too. Oh. Oh, one second. Don't blame me. Huh? No, come to the doctor, man. Can't believe it's another coronation already. Our kings just get younger and younger. Tommen's not ready. He's too soft. <laughs> Maybe that was the imp's plan. 
I wonder if Marjorie Tyrell will be there today. You mean Queen Marjorie? She was married to Joffrey. Hmm. For all I of one hour. Marry his brother too. Not to I mention wouldn't put it Cersei past her. and Jamie. Shh. The Lannisters have spies everywhere. What is it, Tom? Remember that warning you'd heard from Roderick? About White Hill's contact. Did you find anything? Shh. Only whispers. But your brother's right. Blood White Hill. Blood White Hill is sending a great deal of gold to someone here in King's Landing. He's definitely up to something. Well done, Tom. Did you hear anything else? Lord Whitehill is surprisingly secretive. The only people I'm even certain he deals with are those ironwood merchants. They'll both be at the feast after Tommen's coronation today. Maybe you can learn something. I can't go. Marjorie's... She's not exactly happy with me right now. I've been uninvited. Couldn't Sarah help? Ask her to get you in. She'd do it, right? Don't handmaidens look out for each other? We are friends. I'm sure she'd help if I asked her. It's a good plan, then. It's nearly time. Just be careful, Lady Mira. King's Landing seems to have it in for you. Cake in the kitchens. Have to guard this one. Locked him up in the old storeroom until morning. That the one who killed Brit. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. Come on. Now you'll be back before anyone notices. All right. Maybe just a quick bite. He's likely to freeze to death out here anyway. Must be the latrine. I'm not sticking around to use it. Onions and crab apples. At least I won't starve to death. If I ever find a way out of here. <laughs> Oh, I'm not getting out that way. No one out there. Don't know what I expected. Huh. Oh, this one looks loose. Doing it. I heard him talking. He had to be executed in the morning. Oh, what about Finn? He told Nobody them. Nobody believes him. Or don't want to. They think he's covering for you. Some are even saying he helped you do it. I have to get out of here. That's why I came. I want to help. You'd be executed. Too. Why would you want to help me? I told you my secret. And you said you were my friend. Or what kind of friend? Hey, Blakey, what's up? You to die here. So I'm getting you out of here. <clears throat> I don't want to hear any complaining. All right. You're a good man. You know that. Don't go singing my praises just yet. I want you to take me with you to the North Grove. Same will say, man. You know I can't. I actually just got. Me. I'm leaving Castle Black. I got two cats, actually. I'd rather not go it alone. I guess it's not the same. So no, same. Going north. 
I will come in with you. We've got two little kittens, like ten weeks old. I can get out of this bloody storeroom first. I can try and pick the lock, but I'm not sure it will work. It's rusted a bit inside. I can try, but it may not do any good. There's a loose stone over here. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah. It's not moving though. Yep. Keep Cats. trying. Let me see what I can do. <laughs> you have to see them. That might be useful. They want to see the cats. Guys, what are you doing? Alright, I got cats. I got cats come up. What's that? The girlfriend's gonna go, uh. The girlfriend's gonna go grab them. I can see it. it. It's coming loose. I'm gonna try to push it out. You pull, alright? That. Hey, can you fit through? I think. She loves it. Actually, she absolutely loves it. She supports me 100%, so. No, she's uh, she's fine. No, the one that used to, the one I had a few months ago was the one that was like, you know, like six months ago was like the one that went in and um, like me streaming. Very against me streaming before. No, this one, this one's very supportive about everything. Oh, that scared the shit out of me. Oh shit! Aren't you two idiots lucky I'm not frost finger? Thought you were being sly, eh? I figured you'd try something like this. Finn, you bastard! What are you doing here? I'm the sword in the darkness. Help me a fellow brother keep his head. You'll need this. Oh, I do. Now, let's go. You're not coming with us, Finn. What are you on about? Frostfinger already thinks I'm helping you. What do you think he's gonna do when he hears you've run off with Potato Fucker over here? I'd rather take my chances with you. And I'm good in a fight. You know that. Yeah, good at starting them anyway. You'll need another blade at your side. Having another ranger along couldn't hurt. Till he stabs you in the back. We're taught later. Move. Oh. Here they come. Alright, let's go full screen for this. Huh? I can't find them. Can't find them? Wherever that hiding spot was, I can't find it. Actually, give me one give me one second, Blakey. I wanna I wanna go find the cat real fast. We'll be right back. Uh, 
So for the view. Hey guys, what's up? Sorry. Sorry guys, I'm um I was looking for the cats. And I was looking for the cats. I don't know where they are right now, so um they went to a little no I'm not present yet, I wish I was. They um um got into a little area between the cabinets and now they gotta come out. So I'm waiting for them to come out. No, I'll uh, take pictures and put it on Twitter when they come out finally. Oh, you got one. Where's that one? Where's it? That's gonna be the hard one to get out. Where's it? Well, no, we get, we'll get him down. Just this is easy because he likes that string thing. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. So this is this is number one. Let me go full screen here so you guys can see that. Let me go full screen here. Oh, 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 hi. How you doing? Hey. Hey, where you going, huh? <laughs> oh, that doesn't go good. Come here. Come here. Come here. Alright, this is number one. Oh, <laughs> uh, there's guys again. Okay. I know, I know, I know. Like, what? I know. Like, I want to go, I want to go see. Alright, so this is number one. <laughs> <laughs> come here, come here. Let me get this. Let me get this. No, 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 no. Let me get this. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me get this. They're ten weeks, so they're very like, they're very terrified. Honestly, this is number one. It has green eyes, as you can see. It is actually a sweetheart, but it's very, it's very <laughs> like ah uh, right now. <laughs> Hi. Hi, it's okay. I'm right here. It's purring right now, too. What? The one? I haven't seen it. It's probably, in the, it's probably up there. Yeah, it's camera shy. So, it's okay. It's okay. It's purring on me right now. It really is adorable. Mm -hmm. If you want to take him, so he's me out. He'll probably come out the other way. Okay. <laughs> That's the girly. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I almost got your face off, you don't want to go. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, so that's that's the black one. Um, that one's name is Onyx. The other one's name is Dobby, just like the Harry Potter series. Uh, that one is very, very shy right now. So we're waiting for it to come out. It's got into a little high, secret hiding spot that we're waiting for it. Their brothers are the same litter, so when one meows, the other one usually comes out. Thanks! I haven't got a haircut yet. It's just literally, my hair is just everywhere right now. There's no turning back now. We're deserters for sure. It's like a tiger print, almost. I've taken plenty of oaths. Broken plenty, too. Words don't mean shit. There'll be a price on our heads. My family back home is counting on me to put things right. And I mean to do it. Vows aren't going to stop me. Yeah, and they also in a brand, they're in a brand new environment. Um, then we're gone now. They... They literally, they literally just got here can you run? last night. They just got here like 10:30 last night. So it's gonna take a little while for them to, for them to um, get used to the surroundings and then like that. I mean, they've already started finding secret hiding spots. So. Oh, there's another one. Come here. It's 
worse than I thought, isn't it? Roderick! There you are. Lady Forrester! What's wrong, Mother? It's Griff. He was arguing with the Maester and things got out of hand. Oh. I'm coming. What do you mean to do? Th this could be our chance. He's right. We must hurry before things get violent. I want to try talking to him first, see if we can work this out. And if that fails? Just don't forget your promise, Roderick. The rest of my men are still in the grove. They could be here in minutes. I'll need every one of them for what I'm about to do. I'll have them here as soon as possible. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, they'll come out. That's a, I'm not worried. They're just they're hiding. That's it. Listen for my signal. I'll strike my cane and I want you to enter. We'll be ready. This is a badass. Oh, the cat got me right. That's all scratched up. with you. It's not safe. You should wait for your brother. I don't care if it isn't safe. Griff thinks I belong to him. I need to show him I don't. Together then. <laughs> yeah, it's like The Walking Dead. It's just the um, it's the Game of Thrones version of it. Marry a dead horse. You watch your bloody tongue, or I'll give you what I'm giving the Maester. What's going on here, Griff? He's disobedient, just like you are, Roderick. So now he's paying the <laughs> Nine me. Oh, my hand. Don't believe you. <laughs> You're not the Lord here, Griff. And I'm tired of you pretending you are. You think. I'm fucking pretending. You know what I think? My brother is ready. I think you need another lesson in humility. Just like your maester here. You can watch if you like. Then you'll see who's the man and who's the cripple. <coughs> I've let you off too fucking easily, Roderick. Yes! Yes! What are your orders? I'm the only one here who gives the orders! What are you waiting for? Take their weapons. What are you doing? Drop it! Fire! Now. Summon Jujutsu. This is my hall! You have no right to be here! Now then, about humility. Get your hands off me! Maester, are you alright? Yes, I think so. My father will go straight to Roos Bolton. He'll flay you and your sister and your own fucking family! Shut your bloody mouth, Brit! You can away me. Your friends won't be around forever, Roderick. And when they're gone, I will see that you pay for this! All of you! <laughs> Is that it? Look at that. It's still coming out. Stop it. Is this the man you'd rather oh. have? This cripple. I think he wants more. Oh, come on, Roderick! Enough! That's enough! 
Oops. Are you satisfied? Is that it then? It's You're lucky you didn't get worse. Mm -hmm. Fuck you, Roderick. Confine the White Hills to the cellars. Mm -hmm. No one gets in or out. There's actually two holes in the game, sorry. This isn't over, Roderick! Yeah, but either one, yep. Black whore. I don't know, um, they probably, they probably did it for easy sakes. Like, so they don't, they didn't have to finish it. High point. You must be sure of it. Not as long as they still hold Ryan. Don't worry, don't worry. Kill the ravens. It's fine. All of them. It's fine, don't worry. Oh, Is he? Oh. I swear I will. You like sweet. Fuck you and your. Queen. That's enough. So long as you're in my camp, you will obey my orders. And getting pissed drunk before a mission. Obey? You know what kind of ship brain fool does that? One who wants to fucking die out there. Have you lost your damn mind? I am not some animal in a cage. What in the seven bloody hells are I you talking I will not let about? you bark orders at me. I'm glad to see you two are getting along. Warms the heart. I'm not the one with the problem. It's him. She can't fight like this, Asher. You think I'm too drunk to fight? What the fuck do you What are you, you gonna know? do? Run out there swinging a fucking... Ah! Ah! Still think I can't fight? You fucking bitch! Oh, there we go. Hey, come on, Beska. Leave the poor Let man alone. Let go of me before I break your fingers. Deal with your friend. She'll get us all you killed. You sound scared, Croft. This is bloody important. You afraid your mother will spank you? I will not let you two fuck... Mind your own business, Croft. You don't need to worry about us. Just take care of this. Because if she can't hold it together, we're leaving without the both of you. <laughs> you think your little thumbcock can take Marine all by itself? <laughs> I'd never work with a bloody show like you Best anyway! what the hell is going on? <sighs> you gonna lecture me too? Oh, oh I didn't see that. Croft doesn't know shit about anything. None of you do. Fortunately, we have to listen to him, even if he is an arsehole. He's in charge of this mission, and what he says goes... He's not in charge of me. You think I give two shits about what Croft has to say? <laughs> your fucking uncle is the only reason I'm even here. He told your little dragon queen I would go into marine with you. You get me burned by a dragon! I'm doing this for my family, Beska. This is oh, the only it's way. It's always about you. Your family. Your problems. <laughs> Jesus, Beska. Oh, Holy sure. crap. Oh, if this was a real fight, you'd be dead. I'm not going to do that. <sighs> Wow. What are you so afraid of? I was a slave. Here, in this fucking city. Oh, that makes sense. This looks wrong. I was taken from my home when I was only three years old. It makes sense, though. When I was seven, my master threw me in the fighting pit to die. When my master tired of watching me kill animals huh? for sport, he started. He started sending other children. Wow. You're a little bit. He wants to run. Huh? I butch. He wants to run and I can't. You need a little bit. I need a little bit. Once the cat comes out, once the cat comes out, we'll still have this up. Yeah, you just gotta hold on to him because he's gonna try and jump back up in there. Hey, BG, I gotta go, man. I got new cats. So I'll, take, I'll talk to you guys later. No, I gotta no, go. No, no, no. Alright, the new cats are, uh, are uh, a big handful. So.